morning. Hi. Hi, everyone. We Hello. are so, so excited to be talking to you guys today about the Opulus. A little bit about me. My name is Millie Amadovar. I am a former senior beauty editor. I was a senior beauty editor at Cosmopolitan for Latinas for many years, for about seven years. And then I became a lifestyle and TV beauty expert. So that's pretty much what I do now. But I've been in the beauty industry since 2003 when I had a blog uh, many, many years ago. So we're gonna, today we're going to be talking to the amazing Dr. Marnie Nussbaum about the Opulous Beauty Labs, which I think is the biggest game changer in beauty ever. Dr. Marnie, tell me a little bit about yourself. So I am Dr. Marnie Nussbaum. Thank you, Millie, for that amazing introduction. I am a board-certified dermatologist in New York City, and I specialize in aesthetic dermatology. And I'm thrilled to be part of this launch, this beauty launch of Opulous Beauty Labs. This truly is a fusion of beauty and science, and which actually just makes my heart sing because it is revolutionary for so many reasons that we'll discuss. Yes, I totally, totally agree. I have, you know, I've been testing it for a few weeks. I know you've been testing for a lot longer than I have. But, you know, I'm going to be honest. I don't, I didn't expect anything less because the creator of this is also the creator of the Clarisonic. So, hello. Yeah, right. We're talking, this is no joke. But, Dr. Marty, I want to talk to you about, you know, just questions about retinol because I know a lot of people Absolutely. have questions about that. So, my first question is, why is retinol the gold standard for rejuvenating skin? Sure. So, as I said before to so many people, the reason I'm so excited that Oculus Beauty Lab started with the Skin Active Retinol is because every day I am asked what is the best anti-aging ingredient for my skincare regimen. And for decades, it's been the same word, retinol. It's the same ingredient, retinol. And the reason it's been the gold standard for so many years is because it, it increases skin cell turnover. It actually encourages new collagen and elastin formation, and it evens out your tone and texture. So by far, it's the best. However, there's challenges, right, Millie? Right. right. There's a lot of challenges that we're going to get into. Um, but I, I do have another question. So yes. retinol can be intimidating. It can be very, very intimidating. So what are some of your best tips to help retinol work its magic for anyone so, you know, watching absolutely. us? Absolutely. So the, the thing with retinol is that it's scary. There's so many different forms of it. People don't understand how to start their retinol regimen, how to use it, how many nights on, how many nights off. Uh, retinol can be irritating. Um, when you start a retinol regimen, there's something called retinization, and that's yep. the time it takes for your skin to tolerate the skin active retinol. So many times I tell my patients, start at a low potency, like 0.025%, and then you gradually increase the concentration. But so many times people get red, dry, flaky, and they experience that irritation or retinization. So how does the opulus and the and, you know, and the opulus treatment, how, do, how does that address those issues? So first of all, um, what they've done at Opulus Beauty Labs, or Dr. Rob, I should say the amazing Dr. Rob. Amazing Dr. Um, Dr. Rob. Dr. Rob the that's right, is he developed this amazing thing called an opulus, yeah. right? And he actually was walking in a Parisian chocolate shop and looked at these little gorgeous chuckles and decided, why can't skincare be just like this? A gorgeous box of chocolates. And why can't it? So he developed this amazing activator, which can actually, I don't know if you can see, but it is actually your own personal beauty lamp that you can put one of these beautiful little opules in, close it, and then actually press one button and thermally activate the retinol for peak potency. Now let's talk about that. What is that? What does that mean? So with retinols, like I said, it's very difficult to know as a consumer what you're getting. There's retinols over the counter, there's prescription retinols, and there's different concentrations. So what you can do, and what's great about Oculus, is you're getting all the retinols benefits without any of the challenges by using it in this form with that activator. So let's say you were to start at 0.025% retinol, which is the R1 ramp up regimen, which we'll talk about. It basically has retinol in the core of this little opule. So there's a liquid core and then a coat. And what it does is it separates out the retinol in the center so that it's um, stable. It's not 
degraded by oxygen, light, water, like other jars and um, tubes that you may get in the department store or in a pharmacy. And then it has a coat of all these little uh, fatty acids, triglycerides, and antioxidants. And what happens is when you put it in your activator, you mm -hmm. basically put this in, right in, and then when the activator goes on, you press one button and for 90 seconds, it actually makes the retinol mix with antioxidants and other skin actives that don't normally mix well together so that it thermally blends it for peak potency. And the reason that's so important is because with retinol, you never know really what you're getting, but Oculus Beauty Labs has made it so that I've never been more sure of what potency of retinol my patient's getting. No, that's, a, I guess that's going to my next question. Why would Oculus, yeah, <laughs> no, but it's great. And I'm so into it, but that's, I guess this is going into my next question. Why would Oculus be a good option for someone just starting on retinol? Because, and that's a great question, Millie. Yeah. What they've done is they've taken the guesswork out of trying that, getting through that retinization process. So let's say we've never used retinol before. Well, we would start with our R1 retinol ramp up regimen. Right. And what you do is you see there's no guesswork. You open up your first retinal regimen, and it's like a calendar. Week one, week two, week three, and week four. Can everyone see that? And once you take this yeah. little vellum, this li yep, that, take that little vellum piece of paper off, you can see there's all these different opules. So this is night one, night two, night three, night four. And the interesting thing is that night one might be the retinal, Whereas nights two, three, and four are what we call the RHR, overnight mass. And what that is, it's not necessarily nights off. It's just no retinol. So it, the cadence is done for you. You gradually increase the concentration of your retinol. So there's no guesswork. You know exactly what you're doing for the night. And most importantly, it's one and done. Right. So this little opule of retinol has your antioxidants and your moisturizer in it. So there's nothing you need to worry about. You don't need to add on moisturizers. You don't need to add on your vitamin C serums. And the most importantly, the nights off, or the nights that we have the RHR, which is Restore, Hydrate, Rejuvenate, those masks are with Allentoin 2%, which is almost impossible to get. And what the makers at Oculus Beauty Labs have done is create these novel chemistries that could never be combined before because we have that center and the coat. So it's really giving your skin what it needs to actually hydrate and soothe in between the nights when you're using the retinol. So the guesswork's done. You're one and done. So let me ask you something, because I see a few people that um, I recognize here on, on our, in our uh, live here. I see a friend of mine, This That Beauty, who's been using retinol for years. So where would she, hi, Felicia. Thanks for joining. She's amazing, by the way. Where would, like, she's been using retinol for years. Yeah, you guys should follow each other. You love each other. She's great, love too. That. Where would, where would she, like, if she wanted to use this, where would she start? Would she start with the, the 0.25 or would she go a little higher? How, how would she use Excellent that? Excellent question. So we always say if you're new to retinol or you have sensitive skin, we would always start you on the R1 regimen because yeah. it's 0.025%. And remember, because we're using this activator, you're getting peak potency of the 0.025. Nothing's been oxidized, degraded, and it's very different than using something that's been on your shelf for three months. So, however, if your skin is well adjusted to retinol and you've been using 0.05% or 0.1%, I would start at regimen R2. R2. I would not start at R3 until you're done with R2 because you're getting such a peak potency from the thermal blending that we don't want your skin to get irritated immediately. Um, so I would start at R2 first. Okay. Now, here's a question that we get a lot. Yeah. When do you think someone should start using retinol in general? I always say yesterday. Yesterday was, would be a great day. Yeah. And um, retinol has been the gold standard for so many reasons. Um, like I said, it's just the best anti-aging skin ingredient. The only time I don't recommend my patients using it is if they're pregnant or breastfeeding. Right. Otherwise, it's really key to making sure you get that skin cell turnover and you're encouraging new collagen molasses. And I always think it's really interesting because after age 30, we lose collagen at a rate of 1% to 2% per year. Uh, yeah, and yeah. I, I know. I'm already halfway there. 
And then um, at, at around menopause, you lose thirty percent at once. So the name of the game is to build, build, build. Now let me ask you: How long does it take? Oh, this is actually a question from from the community. How long does it take to see results with retinol? Especially, how long would I expect to see results with Dr. Rob's amazing formula? Excellent question. So because Dr. Rob has made this amazing formula, it's basically, and I want to go into that for one second, it's an anhydrous form of retinol. What that means is it's not exposed to water. Many formulations in the um, pharmacies or even prescriptions have water in the vehicle, which already starts degrading that, that pureness of the retinol. So this is pure retinol. And we know it takes about 12 weeks to see maximum benefit for your retinol. So, you know, between four to 12 weeks, it really takes to see the difference. The great thing about this formula is you're getting peak potency right away. And you're gonna use the cadence that it's giving you to really um, restore the skin in between the retinol nights is just gonna build upon itself to get that, that peak level of skin cell turnover and rejuvenate the skin. Now, should I avoid, this is another question for the community. When I'm using my retinols, you know, we use them at night, should I avoid being in the sun? Excellent question. So it's actually a myth that retinol makes you more sensitive to the sun. What happens is when you're irritated, if you use too much retinol, like, you know, in traditional uh, retinols, we always say use a pea size for the whole face. Now, who can really do that? Nobody, because you basically use dot, dot, and everyone's face is different sizes. Um, so if you get irritated from the retinol usage, then that makes you more sensitive during the daylight um, to the retinol. However, retinol in and of itself doesn't make you sensitive to the sun. Well, that's, I didn't know that. So that's, that's great. Mind blowing, yes. Learned something new, doc. So here's one more question. Do I need to go off using retinol to ever give my, like to give my skin a break? So the great thing about Oculus is this gives you your breaks. The guesswork is done. Right. You just follow your day ones through 28 and you're gonna be the blue Oculus right here are those nights where you're restoring with Alan Cohen um, and other fatty acids and ceramides for, and peptides to increase your skin's, um, reju help rejuvenate the skin. So you don't, there's no nights off. Everything, you're, every night it's one and done. The other thing that I really love about these opules is that, you know, so many patients come to me with these giant bags of 10 products and they say, you know, what do I use first? What do I use last? I can guarantee you by the third layer, that third layer is not penetrating as well as the first. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I just, so I love that this is a one and done. You right. don't have to add anything else. It has your moisturizers, it has your antioxidants, and it has your retinol. And it's all in a warm application. So instead of that dreaded nighttime routine, yeah. you're getting a warm, you feel like you're pampering yourself, one and done, and you have more time for reality TV at night. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I was just saying. Totally, totally. Now someone here, um, and I didn't get the name, I think it was Love Love Wolf, they asked, is it safe to use retinol while you know using medication? So it, you know, depends on what medication for sure. Um, mm -hmm. The only time I really, con retinol is contraindicated is if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. However, if you are using harsh chemicals on your face, like glycolic acid at a high percentage or any other alpha hydroxy acid, you'd want to be careful because you can irritate the skin. So you wouldn't want to use it in conjunction at night with anything. So here's another question. Can I, can my skin get damaged from using retinol? So retinol in and of itself will not damage your skin. When you use too much of it, you can. So when people say, when we say pea size and people think more is better um, and they use dime size, you can absolutely get red, irritated, dry, and flaky. And I can't tell you how many patients come to me and say they're allergic to retinol. They can't use it. There's no real such thing as an allergic to, I mean, I'm sure there is 1% of people, maybe, but it really, it's because the way they're using it in the formula. This formula has the retinol in the core and the fatty acids and ceramides in the coat so that it's really giving you that perfect peak potency um, at the time of application. So we're getting two questions asking, can you use this if you have rosacea? Absolutely. Um, you just have to be careful. I would start with the R1 retinol ramp up. Um, the reason it's so great actually is because it has the RHR masks. So that's great for rosacea, especially the Allen tone at 2%. Um, but I would stick to the R1 if you see any irritation. 
Um, but absolutely, you can use that. So my question is, though, how do you know if it's irritation or if it's just the retinol? Like, you know, because in the beginning, I know when I first started using retinol many years ago, right. I remember that, like, immediately my skin started peeling. And I was like, oh, I just have a bad reaction. And I remember my dermatologist saying, no, that's just retinol. Like, that's how it works. Well, so I always say, you know, it's usually a 10 minute talk with my patients that I'm starting on retinol that to use a moisturizer first so that it's less irritating. And then um, it's just as efficacious, but you really need to start out, you know, three nights a week and then titrate up. The reason this is so great is because there is no guesswork. Like it's done for you. You can't mess this up. And it really like greatly decreases any risk of that irritation. So when somebody says adventures of nail I and Y, which retinal type should I get based on my skin type? So maybe she so, needs to, the percentage? I don't yeah, know. so there's yeah. three percentages that this comes in. It's 0.025% is R1, 0.05% is R2, and then the 0.1% is R3. So if you're sensitive skin or you're new to retinol, absolutely start with R1. If you've used retinol before and you're pretty used to it, start with R2. Never start at R3 until you're finished with R2 because this is so pure and potent. So somebody else asked, is it good for dark spots or hyperpigmentation? Is retinol good? Absolutely. Different? So one of the great things about retinol, aside from minimizing fine lines and wrinkles, is it evens out the tone and texture. Um, so it's, it's, it's at, that's why it's the gold standard for anti-aging. It does so many things on so many different levels on the cellular level. So are there any skincare ingredients that you should not use when you're using retinols? The one thing I would say is to be careful with any alpha hydroxy acids. Don't use anything with it at night. You can use low potency, um, you know, alpha hydroxy acids, mild lactic acids, glycolic acids in the morning. I would not use anything with it at night. It has everything you need at night. And then, you know, if you notice yourself getting irritated, start, you know, just minimize it. Use, don't use anything with it for the first few weeks or first month. You're getting so much of what you need in that opule. And you're getting those RHR masks on the nights that don't have retinol, which has all these other skin actives that are what your skin needs that I would, you, it, that's the beauty of it. It's, it's really, truly, I know I say this, but a one and done formula. Okay, great. Um, I am getting, for some reason, I'm getting questions on my own Instagram, uh, my own Millie Instagram. People are DMing me, I don't know why, but um, someone asked, is there an age limit that you shouldn't use retinol? Like if, are you too young to use retinol? Like is, you sure. know. Is so, I mean, I wouldn't use it before adolescence, um, I definitely would wait. This is, I mean, retinol in and of itself is amazing for anti-aging, um, but I would also not use it in pregnancy or breastfeeding. Other than that, go for it. Um, it's really, the like, I remember I had one patient 10 years ago who was in her 70s and had the best skin I've ever seen. It was milk. And I said, yeah. what's your secret? She said, I've been using retinol for 40 years. And so really, so I guess that would be my next question is how long can you use retinol? Do you, is this a lifelong thing? Do I have to use it forever? Or can I like, after my skin looks great, say, hey, that's enough, you know? I think I would always say um, to continue your retinol regimen as needed. Um, it's always gonna be helpful for your skin. It's gonna fortify your skin. It's gonna give your skin more structure, more firmness, more elasticity. Um, so there is, you don't have to, but should you? Sure, yeah. yeah. So somebody just asked, hi, Claudia Miz. Claudia Miz just asked, your body doesn't get used to retinol? So your body can get used to retinol, which when you're done with that retinization process, but it's not that it, it's still working, even though you don't see the redness, the irritation, the leakiness. In a perfect world, you wouldn't see that. So you, when your body gets adjusted, you can go up to the a percentage of retinol, increase the concentration. Once you're at our 3.1%, you don't go any higher, you would stay there. Um, but you can absolutely keep using it. And the beauty of this is that you can also, you know, eventually buy a box of just R3 and a whole box of the RHR masks and then use them as needed and titrate as needed. So um, Pony Hot Studio says, can I use it on my chest? Uh, so I love, this is a great question. So usually with retinols, we say pea size for the whole face and that's it. And what's great about this is after you have your thermally blended um, cream, it'll come down into this unctuous cream that's 
just there's no words to describe it until you use it but there's this whole bowl and you basically apply a thin layer all over but there's enough to actually put on your neck your decollete and your hands so that really anywhere that is exposed to the elements you can use the retinol so I've noticed lately in the beauty industry, some people are putting retinol in products that you wear in the morning time. Yes. Do you recommend that or could we use this in the morning? So you can absolutely use it in the morning. I usually recommend using it at night and this particular um, retinol ramp up regimen is for one and done at night. Um, because you know I like to say protect your skin in the morning with a vitamin C or whatever you're using. And then at night, your skin needs to repair and restore. So I like to just use it at night. And it's really changed my um, beauty routine at night. You know, my daughter stands at my bathroom door and says, mom, how many creams are you gonna put on yourself? And now I have this one and done where it feels like it's a nice, I look forward to it rather than dreading the 10 step routine. It's truly a one and done. And then she was like, you're so much quicker. And I said, as mommy gets older, she needs more ingredients, but now we have this. Well, that's so funny because my son, I have a, you know, I have a, I'm, I'm a single mom of a, of a 10, of a 10 year old boy. And he's like always complaining, mom, you're in the bathroom forever at night. All the time. And now it's the same thing with this. It's like one and done, one and you done. know, one and done. And my experience with this too, like I've, you know, when I, when they approached me to do this, first of all, I am like the Dr. Rob fan of the year. Cause you know, oh, yeah, Clarisonic was, was Clarisonic yeah. was my jam, but yeah. Uh, yeah. So when I tried this, I remember I was like, you know, cause my skin can be very, a little sensitive. So I use this and my skin felt so soft. You know, retinols can sometimes leave your skin feeling like, right. you know, you put sandpaper on it or Absolutely. something. Oh, my skin was soft. It felt, um, you know, it just, it felt really like, I don't know, it didn't, it didn't look like I used retinol. No, it feels supple in the morning. Yes. Instead of that dry, it feels supple. And it's yes. just, it's one and done at night. It's right a done. nice, like, instead of a, a regimen, it's a ritual. And yeah. it truly just, like, drops the nighttime routine on its head and makes it something you look forward to, which is really a novel thing for us us women that are trying to uh, prevent the aging process. Well, look, Sophia, Sophia uh, is my ally. She says, LOL, my friends complain I take too long in the bathroom with my beauty routine since my 20s. Sophia, you need this. Like, you know this what I love about like this, Millie? One. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, Amelia. No, no, no. Go ahead. No, go ahead, Dr. No, Money. so this, what I think is so amazing is that this is your own personal beauty lab. Basically, you're creating, or Dr. Rob has created for us, these chemistries, these novel chemistries that we were never able to have. So what I meant to say when I said people come in with all these different ingredients to put on at the same time, a lot of those products inactivate each other. So we right. think we're doing ourselves a favor by putting on this, putting on that, putting on the vitamin C, putting on the antioxidants, the moisturizer. It all interacts with each other. But now you're getting a formula that can literally be at the time combined, thermally blended for peak potency, one and done. And it's your own personal beauty lab. This is, you're making it and you get your treatment and then you just wash it up. And what's awesome is that when we all go back to at some point traveling and having fun, all you'll have to do is take this with a few of your opules and you're good to go rather than taking those 10 bottles and thinking they're all going to get all over your clothes. Oh yeah, that's, that, that it's exactly, it's so convenient. You can take it yes. with you anywhere. Dr. Marty, you have a fan here who says that you changed her skin. Um, she needs this easy and simple. When can she start? You can start now. They are now yeah. on pre-sale right now. If you go to the Oculus Beauty Lab site, I mean, I, you know, I'm a beauty editor. I'm not a doc, I'm not a dermatologist, but I was a beauty editor for many years. Um, I'm, a, I'm a TV beauty expert. I do all of the uh, appliances for the Wendy Williams show. We do, and this is truly a game-changing product. There is nothing like this on the market. Nothing at all. I've never seen anything like this. I've been in the beauty industry for about 18 years now, and never have I seen anything like this. So Anna Perez says, do you need a prescription? No, Anna, you don't. Where to find it and the price? So right now, I believe it's on pre-sale. The price, I think, is $3.95. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it's $3.95. And you can get it on pre-sale on their site. Yeah. Um, but this is going to sell out. I mean, I'm telling you, this is such a game changer. Dr. Marty, you are a world-renowned dermatologist. Uh -huh. What made you decide to, you know, Yeah, the work reason I was so excited to help launch this is because, there, like you said, this is there's nothing like this. I've no. never been so sure as a physician of the exact potency that my patients are getting from the retinol. And also, I've never been so sure that they're getting 
the best peak potency, the retinols and hydrous meaning it's not broken down, it's not degraded, it's actually blended at the time. There's been nothing like this. So absolutely, it's been um, launched last Monday um, for on pre-sale for Oculus Beauty Labs 395 for right. a short time. And then I think it's 495 with a retinal ramp up regimen, one box for so one month supply. And then you'll be able to buy the other boxes. I, I believe it's 165 each. Um, and eventually you'll be able to buy just a box of RHR masks or just a box of the retinols that you need. But really, this is an absolute revolutionary change in the way we look at retinol, the way we look at skincare, and the way we can thermally blend something to give us a new chemistry that's never been able to be done before. So I have, for some reason, people, again, are messaging me on my Millie account. Um, somebody asked, is this good for brown skin? Can brown, you know, because we tend to uh, get a lot of that hyperpigmentation if we use yeah. a product. Can a, a darker person use this without worrying about, you know, getting some sort of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation? Absolutely. So the reason I love it so much, actually, is because it is, does have fatty acids, ceramides, and other emollients with it so that it's not irritating. So there's such a lower chance of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. I would start at R1 and go from there, but it is, perfect for all skin types and i it truly is a revolutionary um chemistry that that is great for everyone so one more question because guys we only have three more minutes so if you have any questions please ask them now because you know or forever hold your well no we're gonna have another <laughs> week live, I think, in a few weeks but um someone asked do you can you use like after you're using this we say one and done but can you put like an eye cream can you absolutely. put you know, if, yeah absolutely if you want to put an eye cream um that's absolutely fine just you know put it right above the um orbital rim a little on the side and on top but this can also be used in that area i wouldn't put it near the eye because it's retinol but absolutely you could use an eye cream um with it so somebody asked the last question this is gonna be the last one because we, we we're gonna close this down if you have white spots on your face can you will it correct it so it depends what the white spots are from. White spots can be from many different things. It could be from fungus or yeast on the skin. You would want to get, you know, a look at your dermatologist to see what the etiology of those white spots are. But overall, retinol does correct tone and texture in addition to increasing collagen. So, you know, I would want to make sure I would have a consult with your dermatologist to make sure what the white spots are from. But if so, you know, I don't see a contraindication. Okay, great. Guys, Dr. Marnie, first of all, um, I'm a big fan of yours. Um, I'm a huge you, fan of yours, Millie. You are a huge dermatologist based in New York. Um, they can find you on your Instagram. Um, and guys, if you have any more questions, you can ask them. Um, I believe we're going to be answering them in the last post that Opulous Beauty Labs does. But like Dr. Marnie says, this is a game changer. There is nothing like this on the market. And, and let me tell you, there are a lot of devices that are coming out now, um, millions of them. But the fact this is coming from the man who created probably the the, the most game changing beauty device ever, which was the Clarisonic. You know, this is his other device. This so this is, is his latest and greatest in his imagination, and I can tell you, his imagination is tremendous. So there's more to come. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm yeah. excited. Thank you guys for joining us, Dr. Morning. Lo love you, Thank adore you. you. Thank you, you so yeah. Thank much, you, Dr. Rob, for creating such an amazing thing. Yes, thank you, Dr. Rob. And thanks, guys, for joining us. Bye. Bye.